Hi Libra, this is Christelle Martinat with another monthly reading and this is for the month of August. You'll see that I keep changing my my altar, my habitats, my context here and I keep trying to find the proper lighting to suit us and this seems to work right now. Let's see what's up for you. Libra, month of August. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my new subscribers for joining, taking a look at my channel. I hope you're there sending some good vibes. My way, I could use it myself. Let's see. Let's start. This I'm starting with the... Um, New Orleans Voodoo Tarot, which always gives me um, a good setting in terms of energy for the month. Wow. Going to be quite busy. You're going to be busy. Um, in many uh, in many ways but you are also going to be waiting for responses and uh, it, it responses to what you have planted seeds that you have planted and you're go you're hoping that and waiting that not even hoping because it seems that you're you know that it's going to go well and um, what I'm seeing here is you're laying the groundwork for new something new that's up coming up look at this lovely étoile um, major arcana in this deck and so you know what you're simply doing is that there's a lot of thinking in the month of August and putting your positive thoughts out there and sending your vibrations out there you're sending thoughts out there and at the same time, you know, this is at a, at a different level. You know, you're sending out things here. It's almost at a, at a fifth dimensional level. But then at the third dimensional level, you're, um, you're sending your fourth dimensional thoughts to the fifth dimension to be able to go scout out things for you. But at the third dimension, you're really enjoying yourself. You know, you're enjoying yourself. You're very gregarious, the gre gregarious side to you that often is hidden but you're enjoying that's what i'm seeing the, the month of august is an enjoyment month month for you and slowly but surely you do set the groundwork you know you plan you know for when that comes through for when the breakthrough comes out you're planning and there is also a um a a sort of uh very balanced taking stock of the future possibilities. I know that it can go this way or it can go that way. Let me try to see what the scenario will be this way and, and how it will be the other way. Let me see if I can um, picture how it will be if I take this route, you know? And you're, you're sort of creating different scenarios so you will be ready for whatever uh, occurrences uh, take place whatever response comes and but I, again i have to underline the fact that you're very very self-confident and you're very self-confident in terms of what you're desiring what your uh, goals are what your aspirations are you're very very self-confident and it's a joy to see and again you know you have l'etoile on your side l'etoile is is a really is orienting you in that direction and um, and you have a lot to be thankful for and the, the key word is here giving thanks and your way of giving thanks is I, I use the word I could use the word partying involving other people in happiness creating happiness with other people the uh, idea of the dance comes to me all the time and you know inviting people to come and make merriment with you and that is a way of giving thanks for you 
and one of the ways, you know, uh, inviting people to have a drink with you, invite people for tea, invite people to break bread, you know, this is a way of giving thanks and, and sharing your ideas with others, sharing your, your aspirations, sharing the positive notions that you think will be then coming in. And um, it is all in the, uh, couched in the framework of making it come alive for you. And not only at the fourth dimension thought level, you know, you, you are at the third dimension, you sit at the table, you talk to your friends, well, you know, I'm uh, really hoping that this occurs because, you know, a while back I did this and I truly would like this to happen, you know, and they get, give you a, some kind of feedback and that too helps you in, in many ways. Let me take the other deck now and um, see what, see what that tells us. Um, the merriment and this third dimensional enjoyment, the dancing, the inviting, the drinking, the um, exchanging, the giving thanks, is sort of like a rite of passage in this period of time because it, it puts you in a position of, again, you, I'll use the word taking stock, but again, it's a, a matter of awareness, being aware, being in the present moment. It's a matter of exchanging what is on your mind with other people so you can relive that in the present moment. And um, it's quite interesting to see. And it is it precisely that exchange and giving thanks which will show you the way forward, which will orient your, uh, your movements up ahead. And at one point of the month, you will stop and you will sit and you will watch things unravel and you'll see before your very eyes that you do uh, have two options and that there is two ways to conceive of what could possibly come out and what the results could be. Okay, three cards down this other deck, Initiatory Tarot deck of the Golden Dawn, and uh, five cards down and three major arcana. Now, um, laying the groundwork. All right, laying the groundwork uh, is complemented by a nine of wands. Now, by any uh, stretch of the imagination, the nine of wands is a burden now. The burden, however, is being set off by you setting a stage and taking your time in preparing how you, I'll use the, um, the, the metaphor of an invitation to dinner. You are inviting people to dinner and the meticulous preparation in the way you which you set the, set the table will help set off the heavy burden of the conversation then that will ensue. Of what difficult moments there will be in, in telling that person, those people, those friends, uh, of your fears, of your hopes, of your dreams. And it's a matter of staying in the present and experiencing the present moment by moment. All right, now, and that's the focus. By far, that is the focus. But we have here l'étoile compl complemented by the Hierophant in Italian, il Papa. And when this, when these two pair up, what they're saying is that there is a higher power that you may not um, see, may not acknowledge, may not know exists, even Libra friends, that in some way makes it possible for you to come towards month end, month end and watch the movie unfold that you have orchestrated, that you have um, uh, produced. Now, 
the most difficult moment will be precisely that when you feel that matters are out of your hands which they never are but are you've you know every when everything is said and done when you put a period at the end of the last page of your novel when you set you know given your um, product for evaluation when it's out of your hands that is when the important moment of battling it out in your mind as to how it will go and you creating the scenarios and experience those vision experiencing those visions in order for you to have the experience before the reality comes sets in of the final result now it should be you know a uh, sort of hint or a suggestion of the way it will go. These cards say that no matter what occurs, it will go well. Being humans, we tend to think, well, if I make money out of the deal, it will go well. If it doesn't, I, it will not go well. But the way the universe works is that if I don't make any money out of the deal, just to use an example, in universal terms, that is positive because of what the universe feels you need to have at that precise moment. Now, and the um, outgoing message is that the battle will be up ahead in terms of how you accept the challenge that will be coming your way. When everything is said and done, when you feel that everything is out of your hands, then that is when you're going to feel the greatest challenge. Let me backtrack a little bit. You, you remember I said um, you set your thoughts, four-dimensional thoughts, you set them out, send them out into the world, into the universe, and see what happens, and see what, um, what becomes of your ideas, your notions. Um, doing that, this is the judgment card, doing that is the most important phase of what occurs in August, your thoughts the power of your thought patterns. Also, that third dimensional dance that we uh, spoke about, two, is the most important, is one of the most, is the second, it's the second phase. After all is said and done, the thoughts are in and dispersed. We have a, um, an, a very creative moment in breaking bread with people, in understanding that the involvement of those near us in our celebrations, in our musings, in our dances, in our workings, is the part that will set the stage for how then you react to, how, to what the results are. Now, Someone wrote under my video, uh, one of my videos, hey, this is too abstract, I can't figure it out, you know. <laughs> um, you have to remember I'm talking to uh, 11,000 audience plus, you know, and uh, we're here and if I were to say you're going to get that job, how many people are looking for a job? You're going to get pregnant, the queen, the, the empress always says to us, fertility, you know. How many people are pregnant? I have to read the cards in relation to the, uh, to, uh, to the spread. And what I'm seeing is the challenge of understanding the results that come in from an initiative that you set off. Now, having said that, of course, I turn to my trusty Virasidila cards to flesh out a few of the details for us. And in terms of our fourth dimensional thoughts being dispersed into the universe, being sent out with intention into the universe, our entrance cards, the conundrum here, the conundrum here in, involves here we have, this is the way they've come out, the um, Gran Consolazione, Letterato or Artista in other decks, um, and 
i deliranti. What is causing you anxiety? Is what is at stake, whatever that is for you, whatever they, that may be for you, a love, a merger, um, ventured capital, an investment, um, an ill love, an ill member of the family, uh, your own, anything, anything that is at stake, what is at stake in your life today, in the month of August, that you so sent your thoughts out at a fourth dimensional level? What is it? Now, again, you know, I'm, I'm, um, I'm suggested to say it will be change. It will be different from all of us. You know, it will be different uh, uh, to all of us will have something which is at stake. Um, you know, I myself have something that is at stake this month, very, very important, you know, in my family, and and it's causing me concern, you know. And the way I want to deal with that, let's make let's imagine that I'm a Libra now. Okay, I'll use myself as an example. I have this uh, uh, this issue, this this um, event that has come up, and the way I choose to deal with that, and the way I choose to send my thoughts out to the world and the universe, will then put me in a position of understanding how I want to communicate with other people and how I want to interact in the now and how do I want to prepare myself for the results and that definitely can go two ways but I do firmly believe that there is a lot of protection here and a lot of orientation it is up to me to understand what the consequences are in the choices I make. And that's our challenge. Let me get to that as we go on. I'm going to now the third dimension interaction, third dimensional interaction in the waiting process. Yeah, every set of Sibylla so far, this and this, high, positive, negative, and hiding. And it's almost as if it is a matter, as a life challenge, okay? That there seems to be a life challenge. And this has come up in other readings. Olga seems to present a life challenge, um, a sort of watershed. And for many of us, it will be in the economic sphere, financial realm, something that is very dear to our heart, something that you... Well, it's it's so dear to your heart that it causes sad it causes sadness. Now, how do we prepare, and what is the hidden, um, not the hidden, but what is the message? I mean, why do we read cards? We read cards to get some suggestions to counsel. Let's see how they counsel us in terms of setting the stage. Mm, definitely for this situation that the cards are acknowledging the cards are acknowledging the oh, just a second <laughs> the cards are acknowledging um, the import of the situation uh, that it is a tower situation that you're dealing with it's a watershed it's something very important that involves quite a deal of a um, great deal of emotions and and very, very, very close communication with things that are involved in, in whatever the ordeal is. And the cards are saying that it is a matter of love that makes it, you know, the, the abstract notion of love is what conditions the outcome in some way. I'm going to the Hierophant and the Toile. Yeah. You know, um, for many of you, it keeps coming up the merchant. Um, and the merchant is also about meditation. And the and merchant is also about thinking hard and long. And for many of you Librans, it will be an involving a matter of work and finance. But uh, for many others, it will be um, the, the importance of taking a long hard look and using meditation to get your answers. 
what do we have here? We've got here an indication that both the issue and the solution will be coming from the realm of the home. Your closest collaborators, and when I mean the home, I mean your immediate family, your acquired family, and those closest to you. This is quite interesting because it would seem that it was a money option. It would seem that it would be a financial dealings, but no, um, this has to do with um, tuning in and when meditating is not really tuning in, is meditation gives you the opportunity to um, contact your higher self and to uh, work at a different level. And that's where the answers lie. I'm going to the outgoing cards. Okay, I have here uh, La Riunione, Il Dottore and Il Ladro. Now, interestingly, this for many of you will involve being together with people who have some form of negativity around them. It could play out in many ways, a bankruptcy, um, an illness, it could be um, a breaking up of a love, a loss, you know, of anything. So being together with someone who, or people who are undergoing some form of a loss and have, seeing the change. And the change here implies, this is a very ambiguous final spread. It's as if the um, Sibylla are telling us that this is the situation you are in and the outcome with the open window there can be um, can go two ways can go two ways um, something of your satisfaction and something that will uh, go against what your beliefs are may may um, acknowledge for you I'm going to now take the runes to get more guidance because um, it seems that a, a lot everything evolves around the notion of love and how apt you are, how capable you are of using love at, at an unconditional level and having you know the ability and the strength to be able to um, accept both outcomes. You know, that's what it seems. Well, yes, that it is a matter of um, the home, something to do with your home uh, is true. Um, and also, it has, it's telling me that there is, it's a human predicament. It has to do, even if there's uh, money involved, it it, for example, you make you, there's a merger underway. You've invested into it, and this is what you want. But you know that the merger will make people lose their jobs. All right, so that is um, uh, this is Manat's Merkstave, and that's telling me that there is a human side to the story that uh, conditions you, and this is one. Um, derivation one one result that can come up of it there are there's a human factor involved here and again you know the notion of unconditional love that needs to move your ideas and meet, needs to move your both the way you conceive of the issue and the way you can ex accept the results now as I said to others, and, and it seems that the month of August seems to be a watershed month, This is. Uh, it seems that you will not be the same after August. There is something of, of, of great importance that uh, is going to condition, or, uh, is going to condition your, your, the future, you know, um, a, a very important decision. Now, uh, at the same time, whatever the results will be, whatever the issue, whatever the development, I'm seeing here that it will distinguish you for life. It was going to um, define who you are, how you work, how you um, uh, develop your ideas, how you work through problems, as well as it may 
a call on your ability to have great foresight. And if you have not had foresight to this day, to August, to the month, in the month of August, it's going to tell you of the importance. It's, it's the month of August is going to highlight the importance of foresight. Um, there definitely is here a give and take. There's the beginning of something, definitely a beginning of something and a give and take. For those of you who work on markets, there is a, a, a give and take on the market. Um, and also it's the beginning of a journey in that marketplace, you know. Um, but there, the, the three conversations that I'm seeing here first speak of a new era, an era give and take, and a successful era in, in the, in, with respect to how give and take takes place. This can, you know, pan out in the form of how you give love, how you interact with other people, how you converse, how you share your free time, how you spend your money. This is the beginning of a new era with respect to that. The other conversation tells me that um, it will slowly but surely distinguish you in terms of how you interact with your own ideas and others in the future. It, in the third conversation tells me there are, are um, what is at stake is um, something of human value, a transformative energy concerning human value close to home and close to the metaphorical idea of home that is of great importance. This is um, what they're saying. And again, it seems that they're echoing to some, with, to some respect, they're um, echoing the, the voices of the cards with one added um, element, which is the notion of your foresight. Your spirituality needs to take one step qualitative jump and have it interweave with your work, your love life, your emotions, your family life, in all sectors of your life, your foresight, your spirituality. They're calling on you to make a qualitative jump. Meditation, as we saw, was one step in that direction. Libra, I do hope this was of uh, value to you for the month of August. Um, namaste and again thank you all of you who have joined me recently I do hope this is of help to you until we read again Librans bye bye